There are probably very few of us that are completely happy with our prayer life and we, we have doubts sometimes about whether we're doing this properly or not. Are we really communicating with God? Are our prayers really registering with Him? And these self-doubts come into us. David was one of these people that we get very emotional about his prayer life. For instance, in Psalm 6, verse 6, we read where David wrote, I am weary with my groaning. All night I soak my pillow with tears. I drench my couch with my weeping. David's personality could be very emotional. We read this, we've discovered this, not only in this particular psalm, but many other places in the scripture as well. Especially the psalms, quite often we come across him expressing the deep emotions in his prayer life. And for some of us, that could become a little confusing. We think perhaps, well, maybe this is why God doesn't answer my prayers, because I'm really not pouring my emotions into it. And, and you know what? That might have something to do with it, even if it's just a peripheral fact that you're not pouring your emotions into it. What God's really looking for is openness and frankness. In some personalities, David as an example clearly, then there are going to be many times when he or perhaps you pour your emotions into your prayers and that those very emotions mean that you're also being very open and honest and frank with God. And it's more that perhaps that is registering with God than the sheer emotion of your prayers. Again, sometimes we're driven to the, the heights or the depths of emotions, and God is certainly there, ready, willing, able to listen to us as we speak with honesty and frankness. But this is more what he's looking for than anything. If we're emotional because we're greatly touched by it, a loved one is hurting as an example, and or we've just received some crushing news ourselves, then we may be driven to tears literally as part of our prayers, and that's good. Go ahead and share that grief, that heartache with God. He's looking for it. But if there's other times when the emotions are just not there, but you're completely frank and open and honest with God, he is going to hear your prayers just as much as if you were shedding tears and, as David alluded to, soaking his pillow with his tears at night. God is looking for openness from you. He's looking for frankness as an example. Just imagine that you're in the midst of confessing a sin to God and you're saying something along the lines of, God, I'm just so confused by this. I commit the sin, but I've, I've got to tell you, even in retrospect, I look back and I think, I enjoyed doing that have that kind of openness, that kind of frankness in your prayer life with your Father in heaven. It's what he expects from you, and it's when you're most likely to open up the gates to answer prayer is when you are open and honest to God and pour out, yeah, you can pour out all of your emotions and or you can pour out all of the facts as you understand them, but openness and frankness with God that's what he's looking for in prayer. I mean, after all, he's your perfect heavenly father. Forget everything you know about your imperfect father that you've experienced in your lifetime, maybe more than one. No, this is your perfect heavenly father. There is no fault in him whatsoever, and he loves you with an eternal love. He will do what's best for you. You may not appreciate it or enjoy it at the very moment that you're going through whatever it is that he dictates for your life in a given circumstance, but he is your perfect Heavenly Father, and he wants you to be open and honest with him, and he will always take good care of you. Amen?